Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you can see, uh, I'm putting my uh, cylinder head together and the block. The last episode that you guys saw, I finally got done with my uh, A4 cylinder head, the stroker. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Here it goes. The stroker is finally being built right here, right now. So I hope your build is coming along, man. Because today, this will be fully built. Don't worry about the, the nut and the washers fully installed because there's still plenty of spaces in between there. Okay, now I'm gonna back it up one turn. I'm using the location of the speed handle and just give it a one turn. Like so. There. So next is the nut, see how much uh, turn I can turn those nuts. So there's plenty of spaces on there. Hand tight, crisscross pattern. I'm just going to uh, follow ARP instructions as far as like the torque. Three equal steps up to 90 pounds a foot. I will dab a paint. This will allow me to visualize, see how much that stud actually turned. See those markings? It's a good thing that the uh, weather cools down a bit. Yeah, it rained all night last night, so which is a good thing. Final torque 90. I'm gonna try to torque it in one swing. See if I can do it. I will let the studs relax, then I'll go back and recheck it. 
so I didn't really turn it that much I think the uh, the one is 45 degree just put a little bit of a lubricant next is camshaft This is a camshaft from an H23A blue top. For now, till I find a uh, Type S camshafts. So side. It's 1.445. Double check. Yeah. Okay. And this is the cam lobe height for the standard on the mid. It's 1.430, so that's good. And this is the intake. Let's see what the uh, sixty-five. We'll check. Yeah, sixty-five. So intake is one point four fifty-one for the regular one, and I'm getting sixty-five on the intake side. So it looks like I got a, a good one here. Wear is pretty much like normal. So it's a good find. You know, this Type S camshafts is getting harder and harder to find on the marketplace nowadays. Unless you buy the whole engine that has this uh, Type S camshafts. So this will complement my piston setup on the stroker. And I'm going to remove this. This camshaft came off from, uh, well, I got this from a junkyard and it came off from the blue top. And lucky for me, I got this one. So I would like to uh, give a shout out to uh, Matthew85 for <laughs> providing this. Yeah. Thank you very much. And I hope I, I'll see your uh, creation soon on a car meet or something. All right. Cool, man. Uh, be very careful when you're torquing this bolt right here because you could easily strip out the threads. Uh, you really have to feel it. But me, myself, I always start on the left side. Start at the bottom, try it on for size and uh, alignment marks. Make sure I'm using the flat face of the uh, cylinder head, setting the bow lash. Okay. Always check this two dash line and also on the one on the crankshaft. And what I usually do just to verify, make sure I'm on top dead center, number one piston is I always stick a screwdriver on there together with giving the uh, rocker arms both sides up and down you will hear this those slotted line will be facing up this time and then you check number two and that's how you check your valve lash it will take you multiple tries 